guys, welcome back to another GTA 6 video. My name is Saints Fan, and yesterday something dropped that is just nuts. So, look, let's just get into it. What we're looking at here is apparently the Grand Theft Auto 6 Mega Leak. And, and look, sorry for the text being so skinny. Hopefully, it comes across well in the video. This is a Google Doc thing that uh, apparently details the entirety of GTA 6. I mean, if we scroll down here, it has 121 pages. And apparently it'll take you four hours to read. And look at the freaking, the scroll bar. I, I, look, it's so tiny. You can scroll. This is all apparently GTA 6 stuff. This is nuts. It just, it doesn't end. It goes on. Oh, finally I have some pictures. But yeah, this dropped yesterday and we don't know what to make of it. The first thing, if this is fake, why in the hell did someone make 121 pages of fake info? Like that's just nuts. But then again, there's a lot of stuff in here that doesn't necessarily sound like it's something Rockstar would do, which is probably why people are assuming this is fake. But this is nuts. And of course, uh, if you want to take a look at this, uh, I guess I'll leave a link to it in the description. If you wanted to read through it, we'll take a look at some of the things. I mean, look, let's start with the mean part. So it says it was in development since 2014, which is, I think, I mean, if you classify like the early development when they were just in the thinking stage, I mean, sure, you can make that argument. The story length, 4,500 minutes. I think that's like 80 hours, which is nuts. And there are a bunch of recent games that have very long stories, so hey, it's not impossible. Apparently, there's going to be triple characters again. We have Ricardo, Casey, and then Rose. And then this this is what's starting to make it a little less believable, but I don't know. I mean, it is Rockstar. It is GTA 6. It's taken them so long. Maybe they are doing something as giant as this states. The map size, 140 square miles. To put that in perspective, GTA 5 is only like 32. And that's maybe pushing it. So this would be what, I mean, like five, four times as big as GTA 5. That's just nuts. Apparently you'd be going to Liberty City or the Liberty State, Carcer City, which is Detroit, Vice City, uh, and then whatever Cottonmouth is. And then the prologue, I guess it's going to be North Yankton-esque where you start in South America. And then they go into details on the production budget, estimated sales, blah, blah, blah. Already, I mean, I, I just, I don't know what to make of it. Because again, the biggest thing for me, why in the hell is someone making 121 pages of fake content? I don't get it. But let's assume this is real and let's see what this has to say. Because maybe when it's all said and done and GTA 6 does release, we can take a look back at this and say, damn, this guy actually was correct. Or this this whole document was correct. Wouldn't that be crazy? I mean, I don't know if it will be true, but this, I mean, look, it's even got details on. So this is like the table of contents, I guess. The main characters, the side characters, the wanted system, uh, so many features on the gameplay, even a new GTA Online detailed section. Like it's this is just nuts. And of course, we're not going over everything. We're just going to take a look at some of the, I guess, more interesting parts. I guess this Casey character, I'm just reading it. He's based off of Trevor, if Trevor wasn't psychotic. So that's interesting. Let's see. The other characters, we had Rose. Rose is, I think, a cop. I don't know where it says it here. Some of these story mode activities you can see. Hey, a bunch of new ones. Gambling, golf, surf, skateboard, tennis, pool, chess. Basketball, bowling, strip clubs, cinemas, a hot coffee mini game. I, I, I don't know. That's another thing. Surely rocks are like after the San Andreas hot coffee incident. Are they really going to go for it again? I mean, maybe. That's an interesting one. Arcades. The one in level apparently is going back to six stars. That's cool. This one kind of hints at Rose being a cop uh, because apparently you can order police responders away from a crime scene you've created to sort of get away without a wanted level. I guess in this next one, she can arrest and ticket civilians. I mean, which is a cool dynamic. I mean, look, I'm not going to lie. Some of the stuff sounds really cool. It's just, is it real? And I, I just, 
I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. I mean, it even has ground vehicles at launch, and I mean, there's there's a ton. I guess there's even details on the soundtrack, which I guess, I mean, that's probably something, assuming this is true, you know, they could add or remove songs, assuming they either do or don't get the rights to them. And I mean, there's so many different things as we just scroll. I mean, this, it just goes on forever. And then there's the GT Online section, which I don't know if it's going to be called GT Online 2, if it's just going to be GT Online, if, you know, there's something else. But let's take a look at apparently what's happening. Uh, of course, they have big plans for the GTA Plus, the subscription service. Online is going to be set just after the single player. Okay. One very interesting thing here is that sporting events, like there'll be live sporting events in game, apparently. And then you can actually bet on these events. I mean, I don't know how that would work. It sounds awesome. I mean, I would love that. Sure, that sounds cool. Uh, physique affects your stats. So if you're skinny, you'll have more stamina. I guess if you're overweight, you'll have more health. That's what it's saying in this little paragraph. Now, this is where it gets a little crazy. There's four different online characters, uh, each with their own different story and roles. So that sounds kind of interesting. And each character's money and assets are separated and they all have their own different story. I, I don't know if I necessarily like that idea. <laughs> now this one, this is maybe where it starts to not be believable. The currency has been deflated to a realistic level. There ain't no way Rockstar gonna do that. There ain't no way. You will take your $2 million bike and you will like it. I guess the four different types of characters, you have uh, your DOA agent, you have a cartel member, you have a Ballas member, and then you have a Von Krastenberg member. Now this is nuts. Each session, there's gonna be a maximum of 100 players, which hey, if the map is 140 square miles, I mean, you need a lot of players to fill that out. And that's, I mean, look, there's so much more info. I mean, it's gonna take me like a minute just to scroll back up at this speed. So again, if you think that somehow this is legitimate and you wanna take a look at, check the description and uh, you can go through and read it. Here's just a summary, I guess, of like the story. If you were curious, the document goes on to explain that the story of these three characters will begin in South America with Ricardo before taking them to Liberty City, Carcer City, Vice City, and Cottonmouth. Liberty City uh, State combine, or contains Liberty City, the setting of GTA 4, while Carcer City and Cottonmouth are locations from Rockstar's Manhunt series. And then also those three characters, again, uh, a, a quick summary. Ricardo is an ex-special agent from Colombia who aspires to the life that the Los Perros Locos cartel bosses had when he was growing up. Rose, here it is, a police officer whose husband passed away before the beginning of the game, leading her into a spiral of addiction and depression. And then Casey, a former boxer, described as Trevor if he wasn't psychotic. He has no problem hurting people for money. So what do you guys make of this? I mean, do, do you think this is at all even close to being a reality? Or do you think someone actually went through and made 121 pages of fake info? I don't know. I mean, this is, it's just so crazy to think it's real. But then again, like, what if it was real? Either way, as we, you know, slowly and slowly learn more and more info about GTA 6, I will continue to update you guys. And if there are any other, you know, bigger leaks, of course, I'll let you guys know. So hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. But thank you guys for watching. Please drop a video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.